Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go through all the strand abilities in PvP to showcase what kind of damage numbers we're looking at and what does what exactly. It's going to get a little bit scuffed because I'm going to be learning as we go along, but we've got Jix here as our test dummy. We're on Broodweaver. Uh, we have Healing Rift, Burst Glide, Arcane Needle, which is the only melee choice that we have at the moment. Um, and we're going to start with Grapple. For aspects, we have Weaver's Call, Cast Your Rift to weave three Threadlings and deploy any Threadlings you have perched. Perched, I think, is like on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see Threadlings, and I think the maximum you can have is five. So this gives us three. Mind Spun Invocation. This is similar to the uh, aspect on Arc Titan. So this basically buffs Grapple Shackle Grenade and Threadling Grenade have enhanced functionality. With this, you can consume your Shackle Grenade. At the moment, we have Grapple on, and that gives us Weaver's Trance. Uh, final blows while Weaver's Trance is active creates a suspending detonation. We can also consume our Threadling Grenade. Oh, so, so that one was for consuming our Shackle Grenade. The other one is to consume your Threadling Grenade, which gives you... Oh, it generates five perched Threadlings straight away. Threat of Mind, defeating suspended targets, grants class ability energy. Uh, and we have finish your final blows, create Threadlings. Straight away, I have my three melee charges. There's 68, 68. Well, that kills the enemy. <laughs> and then we have a ball here. So what does this do if I throw it? There's a, wait, hold on. 101 damage and then there was a few threes. Okay, let's try the, try the grapple out. So the grapple does 20 damage on input. Does a considerable amount of damage. Doesn't one hit though. Right, let's try the rift. Interesting. J just about takes shields off. Right, now what we're going to do is switch to Threadling Grenade. And this is going to pair with Mind Spun Invocation. So if I consume this, I have five Threadlings. Although, I have absolutely no idea what to do with these. <laughs> what do I go? Go, Web, go! Go, Web! Fly! Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, so you get, like, bodyguards. Basically, if you consume your nade, like, off the bat, you've got five Threadlings, you have a bit of a fight, run away. What have you done? Bungie. <laughs> so, I've got two Threadlings already. If I pop a Rift, I'm going to have five. Pop a Rift. Dude. Pop my Rift. <coughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Five. Right, let's just out the super. Oh, okay. Two hundred and twelve damage, and that were that was all the needles. Wait, that gave me five threadlings. Oh. All right, so it does a flat two hundred and twelve. Oh my. Dude, I like the green lantern. I just throw this grenade. I'm just gonna wait for J11 to calm himself. Ow. 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 Ah. Well, that's what that feels like. Right, yes. You stay there. Okay, so you can one-hit somebody with it. What the hell is going on over there? I think we've demonstrated as much as we can with the Threadlings. Let's go to Shackle Grenade. A thrown weapon of weighted strand matter that detonates on impact, suspending targets and creating additional suspending sub-projectiles. Okay, that doesn't actually last for that long, to be fair. Wow, okay, so it came back to me. So what happens if... Ooh, okay, so they go through time barricades as well. Interesting. So this just looks like it just... Okay. It rick... Okay, it ricochets. So if you hit this at one person, it'll suspend both of them. I'm so glad that's only for a second, you know. Right, we're going to try something ambitious to start off with. Two for one. 
Okay. I honestly did not expect that. I thought it would, like, cut off after, like, 10, 10 meters or something like that. Mate. And you get threadlings from that. J11, can you do me a favor? Can you look at me? I'm going to throw my super. I want you to try and evade it. Who says warlocks Fa are better with books than with guns? Fantastic job, J11. Fantastic job. Did you see the way he did a fucking tumble roll backflip? And... Destroy the book. No, the. All right. An extra tip the threadlings don't like bubbles. I don't want anything to do with it. But now on the hunter, and I have absolutely no idea because I haven't used it yet. So let's go and have a look. We have Silk Strike. We have a vicious rope dart and tear through your targets. So left click, swing the rope dart in front of you to deal damage. The tip of the dart deals bonus damage. Defeating targets with a tip causes them to explode. Right click, swing the rope dart in a circular motion to deal heavy damage all around. So that's like the... Helicopter. Q, use the grapple to move forward quickly. Threaded spike, throw a rope dart that bounces between targets. Let's test that out. Wow, actually, okay. Deals a lot. Widow Silk, you have an additional grenade charge. Also, we get two grenades. And, and Snarling Slam. Activate your airborne move to consume your class ability energy and dive to the ground. So I would assume that is... That is cool. And I would imagine there's going to be fragments to increase the suspend animation. Then I guess let's test out the super. So left click is... Jesus Christ! 300 damage?! Oh my god, look at the radius on this thing! What? Okay. What's the range on this thing? I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not even aiming at him! Okay, so the range is like... OG shappy distance. Hey, that's a mean. Let's try the right click out as well. So... Interesting. So the right click isn't a one hit. The right click is a two hit. But the radius is fucking huge. I need you guys to do me a favor. I'm going to pop my super. I need you to both stand by heavy. And I just want you to try and kill me. Fairly babyable. Fairly babyable. Not going to lie. I pop my super. Oh my god. Oh, you can omega troll with this. Oh no. Oh no. Does it kill the bubble? Okay, let's let's try that out. I don't really want to test this against other supers, but can you pop a bubble kiwi, please? So I'm gonna go in there. Straight away I'm gonna suspend. So that was a left click and two right clicks, I think. It's difficult because you've got to stay in... Oh, my holy FOB. Okay, there we go. That was just a right click right there. I wonder if I can strand... All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on a moment. The grapple has knockback, right? All right, so this is how we counter bubbles now, chat on strand. Use your grapple, boop them out. Just like that. Right, we are now on the Titan. And once again, I have no idea how this works. So let's have a quick look. Blade Fury. Create two woven blades and roam the battlefield while at... My Twitch chat, by the way. Perform a leaping slash towards nearby targets, severing them on hit and dealing bonus damage to suspend targets. Each successful hit briefly increases your attack speed and grants energy for your heavy attack. Right click, unleash a heavy upward slash. That's what we saw in the trailer, creating two suspending projectiles that seek out targets. Frenzied blade, activate your charged melee ability to dash forward, slashing at targets in front of you and severing them. Not quite sure. Wait, severed targets unwind into a tangle 
when defeated. Targets' connections to the world around them are cut, and their outgoing damage is significantly reduced. Okay, so you debuff. Interesting. We've got the grapple. We don't have the two or the nades because I can afford them. Sag, please sub the channel. That will give me the necessary funds to buy these. Then we have two aspects. Into the fray, destroying a tangle or casting your super grants woven mail for nearby allies. While you have woven mail, your melee regeneration rate is increased. Drenger's Lash. Activate your class ability to create a ripple in a reality that travels oh. forward along the ground, suspending and damaging targets in hit, hit, hits. Okay, so that's the, that's the shield. I should probably point out, if you've heard any weird noises throughout this video, I have like sound effects on my stream. It's it's not me, it's chat. Right, so first of all, is the barricade. Okay, there is, there is a range drop after that. So if I go back here, it's not gonna reach. No, so it's about 17, 18 meters, something like that. Right, let's try this. So if I just tap my melee button. Oh, it's a slash. Okay. So if I hit you once. 105. Oh, no. That'll do. Let's try this. So if I hit you. That's only hitting you. Interesting. I wonder what shotty melling is going to be like on time with that. So let's try suspending you with a barricade. Sliding out and then melling you. So that's not a one hit. It's got good target lock. It does, yeah. It does have good target lock at least. Interesting. Right. Let's try the super out. So right click is that. Oh, wow. That's got a really short. Okay. I thought that would travel further to be honest with you. It is a one hit though. Oh my god. That seems like a beast. Can you use that melee in the air? Okay. The, the lock-on is really good. It's like a little behemoth. It reminds me of behemoth melee a little bit. Let's see how far we can stretch this. Oh my god. Okay. This is like knockout range. Look at that. So if I fly through the air. Okay. That's interesting. Right. Let's try it against the bubble. Okay, so yeah, final thoughts. Thanks, Kiwi. The Warlock Utility Kit definitely seems like something you can just chain because you get Threadlings from your super when you get kills with your super. You consume, you consume your Threadling grenades. Hunter, the only thing that I found cool about Hunter was the super, really. You can't really utilize the Threadlings at the moment on Hunter and Titan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Strand in PvP.